Chapter 1 Centuries of War and Battle, World Summit of Satanists Beloved, the devil is leading a war against humanity, at the dawn of this new century, the devil extolled and bragged about his victory against the kingdom of God, in this gathering, he said to the assistants, I have overcome, after centuries of proclamation and preaching the good news of the gospel, God has failed to save humanity, the world population is still in my hands, we have the advantage in this war and battle for the souls of men, the Bible has failed to save mankind, we will win this war about the fate of human souls, in this meeting the power of Lucifer has agreed with the king of the earth to strike humanity with a global cataclysm of apocalyptic proportion, they have determined the date and the hour of this calamity, it was in 2004 when the tsunami hit the earth. The aquatic monster was beneficiary because it devoured and consumed 400,000 souls, this monster comes out of the ocean in December and returns to the ocean after six months on the surface of the earth in June, this demon looks like Father Christmas, Santa is a demon who is the precursor of this sea monster, the red color of his clothes represents the human blood that must flow in the period of the end of the year and the siren Jezebel is also very active during the period of celebration of the end of the year, she bewitches humanity to focus on the celebration and the purchase of materials, articles, and clothes, many people are killed from November to December but they physically die in January, February, March, Chapter 4 The Journey to the World Beneath the Indian Ocean, After Communicating with Mermaids, Goddess, and Siren, I finally decided to meet these supernatural beings face to face, for that, I had received instructions about the procedure to follow, there were many precautions that I had to take before invoking these pre-Adamic beings, because they are powerful and extremely dangerous, otherwise, I risked losing my life, I knew that I could lose my life if I failed to do things properly, it was therefore necessary for me to impose myself some physical and psychic discipline. I was told that once I land in the world of mermaids in the ocean, all my protections would amount to nothing. The prerequisite was to fast and pray while reciting certain incantatory prayers in a specific order for a number of days, this discipline was meant to harden my heart against the temptation of sirens, mermaids, and goddesses of the ocean, because there are many traps in the universe of sirens, if anyone succumbs to any of their temptations, it is difficult to find the way back to the earth, it would be death, it is easier to enter the submarine kingdom than to get out of it because the majority of the population are female, these beings hardly let the male visitors leave their dimension, so it was necessary to fast to avoid emotions such as fear, astonishment, panic, and so on, it was necessary to fast in order to avoid one of these feelings, that is why I had to observe this fasting for several days. Here we can see how not to be seduced by sirens, the magician must fast for a few days in order to achieve demonic goals, how much more really should children of God pray and fast to resist the lusts of the world, in order to come to a mermaid I needed to perform magic, conjuring this kind of invocation was risky and very dangerous, a few days later, my colleague showed me the riverside where the siren came regularly. I was to impose myself some abstinence before going to the river, after some days of fasting, I went to the riverside and I began to recite the invocation prayer when suddenly I began to feel a very strong wind blowing around the river, despite this initial manifestation, I continued to do magical prayers, suddenly, a powerful whirlwind rose above the river, right away, I saw fires and strange phenomena. These paranormal phenomena were just the precursor to the appearance of these mythical and supernatural entities, then suddenly, I saw a serpent, a huge one, appearing above the river, after the manifestation of this serpent, I saw the goddess of the Indian Ocean appearing, the goddess of India stood above this mythical snake, she was tall and beautiful, I was shaking in front of this entity after her appearance, the mermaid said to me, I am the Queen Ashanti of India, what can I do for you? I said to her, you are the only one in all the universe that can fill the need of my heart, she said to me, follow me, I followed the Queen of the Indian Ocean in her submarine kingdom, we must understand that after the fall of Lucifer he wandered in the physical and the material universe, in the end, he decided to build a civilization, the moment I entered the mermaid world, 
I noticed that there was no sun, no stars, it was similar to an imaginary world but it was real, it was the realm of Diva and the great ladies of the sea, the popular musician Kofi sang a song in which he mentioned this mermaid kingdom located under the Indian Ocean, in his song, he complimented and praised the great ladies of the sea, who are also called Diva, I said that the sirens closer to the devil are called Tritons, they are ruled by Queen Alida who dwell in Brazil, beloved, a mermaid is not a man nor woman, she is a spirit, a demon, she takes on the appearance of any race and any shape, so when we entered this kingdom under the Indian Ocean, I was received very well, there was a party for me, in this feast, there were many great ladies of the sea that came to the celebration held for me, I was the guest of the goddess of India, who governs this world under the Indian Ocean, she made me visit her universe, almost all the population in this world was made up of women who looked alike, later, I had to choose one for myself, while visiting this universe underwater, I noticed calmness, serenity, and peace in this mysterious world, the goddess seems to be welcoming and hospitable, after the visit, the queen of the Indian Ocean said to me, you will be visited by many of the great ladies of the sea, you will have to choose one, when I was about to return to the earth, she explained to me the kind of food that these ladies of the sea eat on the earth, then I left this kingdom and I emerged at the river bank where I entered this fantastic world, then the Queen Ashanti of India and the invisible world disappeared, chapter 5 life with my wife the mermaid, when I returned home, I saw pictures of mermaids and ladies of the sea, they were mystically placed in my wardrobe, since that day, the ladies of the sea visited me at specific times, I was supposed to choose from the many pictures of mermaids that appeared in my wardrobe, the woman that I choose would become my wife, one day at night, I was visited by those ladies of the sea who were in the photos, when they landed in my room, they started to dance provocatively and sexily in order to seduce me, I was supposed to avoid succumbing to their seduction, otherwise, I would be transported to their universe under the sea, never to return to earth again, and so I had to resist them until dawn, when it was four o'clock in the morning, they all left, they went back to the kingdom of the Indian Ocean, but I noticed that one of the divas had stayed, she congratulated me for having resisted her friends who were trying to seduce me, she said, I am the one that you have chosen in the photo, I am your wife, I am Shanta, after this introduction, this woman of the ocean gave me instructions and prohibition that I had to observe, she said to me, Asan, you can only eat food cooked by your mother, but not another woman of this earth, you must be hygienic, you're going to change your underwear every day, you're never going to marry an earthly woman anymore, I started living with this mermaid of the kingdom located beneath the Indian Ocean, she imparted to me power and strength, I became powerful, as I lived with her, she gave me wealth and wisdom, the mermaid had the knowledge of thousands of years because she is a pre-Adamic creature who has witnessed the birth of Jesus on earth, one day she said to me, Asan, do you know that this earth belongs to us? We control 90% of this world, these Christians are only 10%, everything that you see on this earth has our signature and our stamp, the nations belong to us, politics, finance, and the world economy belong to us. All the industries that you see on the earth belong to us, whether it's the jewelry industry, cosmetics, and the beauty industry, they are in our hands, the fashion and trend belong to us, new technology and cellular technology are invented in our underwater world, every time those Christians who are our hostile enemies run after the things of this world, they come to us because things of this world belong to us, even technology and science belong to us, beloved. The church is supposed to be an ideal place because people are supposed to be altruistic. The apostles were altruistic, they completely and radically abandoned this world, and they were totally separated from this world and all the things of this world because the world and the things that other belong to the devil, all that you see in this world belongs to the devil, like good cars, clothing, their tendency and fashion, beauty and wealth, a true Christian must separate and detached from the world but today pastors are running after the things of this world that belong to the devil, they only preach about the earthly good, this world actually does not belong to the Christian, 90% of the world belongs to the devil, 
the disciples of Jesus Christ died poor because they have preferred to lose the world and to gain eternal life, they did not love life on earth, that's why they all inherited the kingdom of God, if you are a Christian, and you want to win the world that belongs to the devil, you are going to lose your soul, because as far as I know, all the good things you see on this earth belong to the devil, you have to look at the eternal things and reject the physical things that are temporary, that's why Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world, Christianity has nothing to do with the material things of this world. In principle on this earth, the life of each man comprises five components, which are food, clothing, wealth, honor, and glory, men's souls are lost because of three of these five pieces which are wealth, honor, and glory, that is why men who are contented with the two components of life that are food and clothes avoid perdition, that means that they decided to live in simplicity and austerity during their stay on earth, hoping to live the other components of life in heaven, a true Christian finds that it is enough to dress and to eat, he does not seek glory, power, and wealth, these are the last three things that separate men from their Lord and lead them to death, 1 Timothy 6 to 6 11 6 but godliness with contentment is great gain, 7 for we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it, 8 but if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that, 9 those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction, 10 for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs, Chapter 10 Some aspects of Satan's kingdom Lucifer's disciples are invested in the cemetery because it is a portal to the world of Satan, these people are called the kings of the earth, if you dare to sit at the same table with Lucifer, he will surely convince you that God is a dictator and that he overreacted badly to his demand, and the devil always claimed that God treated him unjustly, after he was expelled from his homeland. The devil had promised God that he would oppose him and he would erase his name on earth, he often accuses the Bible of being a propaganda tool that discredits him, he always says he has a bad reputation because of the Bible, but to tell the truth, the devil is a criminal and a murderer, so after being expelled from heaven, God wrote the condemnation of Lucifer and his angels, and their fate was sealed, which is the lake of fire and brimstone. But God gave a short time to Lucifer and his angels to operate freely in the universe before applying the sanction on him and his angels, he made it clear that the penalty and punishment of the devil and his angels are not going to delay, this is why the devil and his angels are working to take the whole of humanity with them in the lake of fire, in fact, after the fall of Lucifer and the celestial war, there was a fallen angel who was worried and nervous whenever a year went by without destruction and punishment written by God for the world of Satan. The angel lit a candle and celebrated, this was the origin of the birthday party, that fallen angel who lit the candle every year to celebrate the fact that God delayed their destruction was worshipped in the name of the goddess Artemis, my former wife, the mermaid said to me that Lucifer was created six thousand years before men, and he is seven times powerful than average angels but angels are seven times more powerful than sirens and mermaids who are seven times more powerful than men, God sometimes grants the devil access to his throne, Lucifer is a great and powerful winged cherub when he was in heaven, he was supposed to complete a program in the seven mountains that represent the seven knowledge but he only reached the third level, and he rebelled himself, when there was uprising and revolution in heaven, God knew all things right from the beginning, but he allowed this and revolt to follow its course, the devil started this insurrection and revolution with Beelzebub and Ashtaroth, he was joined by another powerful angel in the name of the Queen of Heaven, this angel is worshipped as Mary in the Catholic and Orthodox churches, on the other hand, the devil runs a huge structured kingdom, after the fall of the rebellious angels, they wanted the cosmos and the universe, but in the end, they met in order to build a new civilization, Lucifer gathered angels who were builders, constructors, artists, and architects in heaven, they decided to build pandemonium the capital of hell, they built this kingdom in a very short period and yet it exceeds our human civilization, the kingdom of Lucifer is in the air, under the sea, and under the earth, it has many regions like the world of Polyam, 
the world of Cro-Magnon, the Tartarus world, whenever there was a meeting in the dark world, the devil sent his messenger who is the shadow of the angel Gabriel, in the name of Hermes Trismegistus, Hermes the thrice greatest, he was also worshipped as Thoth in ancient Egypt and is the lord of learning and wisdom. Hermes is recognized in ancient Greek as the emissary and messenger of the gods, he is always sent to earth to communicate Lucifer's program to the Satanists who are called the kings of the earth, in the kingdom of Lucifer, there is a false Jesus, he is the pseudo or false Jesus Christ, he is a powerful fallen angel in the name of Jupiter or Zeus, he is the one who is represented as the baby Jesus Christ carried by the false holy virgin Mary, who is Mary Marguella, another fallen angel, she's the most powerful and the most elevated space siren, she lives in the second heaven, as queen of heaven, and also in the moon. She's above the queen of the Indian Ocean, she's above the queen of the south, she's above the queen of Actica that sits beside Lucifer, she's above the queen of the coast, she's above the marine Jezebel. She's a space siren, an evil goddess worshipped by the ancient Babylonian, Persian, Greek and Roman empires. She is worshipped in the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church as the mother of God, Theotokos, and also in Islam and Buddhism. She's called Isis in Egypt, she's called Ishtar by the Babylonians, she's called Astarte in the northwestern Semitic regions, she's called Aphrodite in Greek, she's called Madonna, she's called Artemis or Diana by the Ephesians, she's called Machena in Latin America. She's called the Mystical Rose by the Rosicrucians, she has so many names among her worshippers all over the world. Her favorite symbol or posture is the mother and child posture, but the child she carries is not the baby Jesus, as supposed by many Catholics, she's actually carrying her evil son called Zeus or Jupiter, she lives in the moons, she's the one that gives the false men of God fake anointing, fake miracles, and healing powers. She oversees the activities of other space and ocean sirens. She alongside Lucifer, are the principal actors in the revolt and war in heaven, and she was cast out of heaven together with Lucifer and other fallen angels. If you're a Catholic, please listen, I don't compel you to believe me, or believe my narrative, but pray, at least, and ask the Lord to clarify this issue to you. Don't go to the lake of fire, just because you love your religion your soul is greater than the whole religions of the world put together. Please pray with Jeremiah 33-3.